Hi and welcome back to another video. So today I am bringing you a wonderful vacuum cleaner from Black & Decker. It's a multi-power pro two-in-one cordless vacuum cleaner that has an 18 volt battery and lasts up to 60 minutes. So let's take a look in a little bit more depth at what this actual machine can do. So I think the first thing to do is look at some of the statistics from this machine so we can understand a little bit more about how good this is actually going to be. So it's a 18 volt battery powered cordless vacuum which is a 2.5 amp hour. So what it's going to take is six hours to charge and last about 60 minutes worth of run time. So it actually charges off its own base. So this is a self-standing machine, so it'll self-stand However, on here, what we can do is it's got its own charging base, which basically allows you to plug it in into any main socket and basically attach the actual machine to it whenever you need it to charge. So it's very simple to do, but it allows you to sneak this away into an upstairs cupboard or somewhere in a corner of your room so it's out of the way, but also as well, you've not got any cables hanging around or any problems of having a trip hazard somewhere. So it's really, really nice to have it all built into one base. The machine also as well comes with a one litre capacity dust bin, which allows you to actually run for quite a long time, but also as well collect quite a lot of dirt and debris. So it's really, really handy in the fact that I can go up and down the stairs, I can go into the car, I can go into various different rooms, and I can still come back, still have some charge left, and also as well not have to keep emptying. The problem that comes with quite a lot of cordless vacuum cleaners is that the dust bin capacity is rather small. Now, having a one litre capacity really does give a massive benefit over some of its competitors. The actual unit is extremely lightweight, and to be honest, I've not found any problems whatsoever in taking this up and down the stairs. I think if you were somebody who couldn't really carry something up and down the stairs very easily, what actually comes from this unit is the fact that because it is a two-in-one, it allows you to split the unit apart. So, for actually being able to move this about, you could actually move one part of the unit and the other part of the unit separately. Again, this detaches, and I think that's the next thing to look at, is the fact that this is a two-in-one vacuum cleaner. Now, allowing you to have an upright, which allows you to do a normal vacuum cleaner movement back and forth using the handle, but also as well, it's a cordless. So I could take this out to the car, I could take it up and down the stairs, but I can also as well take this handle apart and I can attach it, which we'll move that out of the way, I can attach this to the actual hose and what this will allow me to do is then use things like the included crevice tool or the upholstery tool to be able to clean various things like the stairs or the carpets or I can get above into the curtains or the curtain poles and it's just going to allow me to get that extra bit of reach. Now when I talk about reach, this actual unit goes two times longer. So what I can do, if I click that in properly this time, what I can do is I can get extra reach out of it. So not only can I have this next to me and I can hold it in multiple ways, so I can hold it on a vertical and I can hold it on a horizontal, and it just allows me to get that reach up or further reach down or underneath maybe beds or sofas and really get that extra bit of clean out of it. So on the unit itself, it's extremely easy to use. On the front here is a full panel and it's got one button to turn it on and off. But then what it's got is it's got touch sensitive buttons at the front which allow you to slide or touch how much power that you actually want the machine to have at that point in time. So going from a minimum setting to a medium to a maximum, there's actually four or five different settings on there that you can actually select. It also as well has an indicator on the front to tell you how much actual battery charge is left in the unit, but also as well it indicates when it needs charging too. On the back of the unit, what we've got is we've got the area which plugs into the back of the actual main handle unit so that it can get the charge off this unit here. On the front of the unit, what we've got is we've got some multiple areas. Now, this area here just allows you to press down this handle and what will happen is it will detach this part here. 
Now this is the capacity bin, and this allows us to be able to clean out filters, but also as well, it allows us to clean out the actual bin itself. So to clean out the bin, all we do is press this button here, and it just drops out. This seems to be one of the easiest ways to be able to use these capacity bins, but also as well, it's the most hygienic. I'm not having to root around and I'm not having to pull out any dust or debris or tip it out into a bag. I simply press the button, press the button and away I go. So I think what we need to do is actually see it in action and go through some of the actual features as we go along. So I've brought along with me some of my trusty oats as I always do when I test vacuum cleaners and I'm going to pop some down on the floor now. So what we want to do is see how this operates. So I'm just going to move out some of the things that come with the actual unit, such as the instruction manual, such as some of the main key features, and also as well, a wonderful little strap that you can attach over your arm, and also as well over the actual unit itself. So if you are using it for an extended period of time, this just means that you can pop it over your shoulder or your arm and take away some of that burden, allowing you to have both hands. So let's pop some oats down and let's start vacuuming them up. So, let's pop them on the floor now. And then, let's start actually using the machine. So, all we need to do, let's just detach it from the base and move that back a little. And what we do is we can use it in the first mode, which is the floor mode. And what we'll do is we'll press the power button. And what we've got on here is we've got multiple settings. So, this is on the minimum setting. And we can go all the way up to the maximum just by sliding our finger over it. So if I move this down, and what I can do is I can also as well set whether or not I want it to automatically recognise if it is a hard surface or a carpet surface. I can also as well ask if I want the bar to be running at the same time. So if I set this to auto, and also as well I'll put the bar on as well. So this is just basically running across and picking up all of these oats with real ease. Okay, so the one thing about this is the fact that you do have this automatic sensor already in it. So you can set it to go from one surface to another manually, or what you can do is just leave it in the auto mode. Personally, I prefer to leave it in the auto mode because it's designed to automatically recognize them different types of floors. Having the ability to turn on the brush bar and turn it off is a really handy feature in the fact that if I don't want to be able to run, say I'm using it on a hard floor, and I just want to pick up little bits of dust or little bits of debris, what I don't want is to push a little bit more air out with the brush bar, I just want to have that suck power to pull it all up into the capacity bin. Okay, so the other items on here as well, like I say, is the actual battery charge indicator on here. It shows it in white and it just allows you to understand how much is actually left on there. And it's a really handy indicator, especially while you're just moving around and you don't know how much battery you've got left. It's just really nice to look down and say, I've got half of my battery power left. I'm going to have to either pop it on charge if I've got a lot of work to do, or I've got plenty of time left. So, one of the other features on the actual upright vacuum cleaner part of this is the fact that this actually comes with LED lights at the front. So it's really nice to be able to actually see where you're going, but also as well to indicate exactly what you've still got left. So if you're going underneath beds or sofas or tables, you can actually see what's going on. So it's really, really handy to have that option on there. But also as well, one of the best bits that I think actually comes on this unit is the fact that to be able to get into the brush bar 
And especially if you've got people in your home that have long hair, or maybe you've got some pets with long hair, and it goes around the brush bar and you've got to continuously chop them all off and it's a nightmare to get the brush bar available to be able to do that. It's a one button click to pull it out. And I think this for me over everything is probably the best option that this machine provides. It allows me to get straight into that brush bar, to be able to clean it all down, and to be able to see exactly what's going on so that I've got no blockages and I get the best clean every time. So let's pop this back on and go through some of the features, especially when it comes to the actual detachable part of this. So I think the next thing to do is go through the actual mid unit of this. This is the more cordless part of the cordless vacuum cleaner and it's very simple to do. So all we do is press this button on the back and just detach the unit. We also as well have the hose to detach as well. Now this is a simple push button and it unclips from it. So let's move this to the side and let's go through the, some of the features actually on this unit. Now it is exactly the same controls as the actual upright because all we're doing is we're just moving the actual main unit off. So this doesn't operate on its own, it actually has to have this in it, but having this available to you so that you can move it out into places like I said earlier, places like the car or up and down the stairs, just really makes it very simple to use. So on the back is the area that connects to here, but also as well, this part actually provides all of the electronics to allow for it to actually charge up while it's on the main stand. At the front, what we've got is we've got a handle and at the top, we've got another handle. So on the other side here, what we've got is we've got a little lever. If I press that down, what it does is it detaches all the dustbin off the actual main suction power unit. And this allows us to go through the clean cycle. So on here, what we've got is we can see all the filter unit here. Now again, this is a cyclonic unit. It allows for a much higher level of suction power compared to conventional cordless vacuum cleaners. This just allows us to get the best clean possible, but also as well, it allows us to really sort of concentrate all that vacuum energy into one area. So again, you're gonna get all of that dust, all of that particles, all that debris, all collected, but also as well, the filter is a key point of all of this. Because you're using the cyclonic technology to, to get the best suction power, you really need the best filtration to ensure that none of that little particles or debris come back out of the unit into the air. And that's why Black & Decker have included one of the best things I've seen on a cordless vacuum cleaner when it comes to cleaning. So not only do we have this button at the front to open up the bin like I showed earlier, I'm not going to do it right now, I'll show you that in a second. So over here we've got the filter unit, and as you can see, you end up getting lots of dust and fluff all collected on the actual side of the filter. Now when you empty the bin, what happens is it collects and it sticks to that filter mesh. Now what you don't want to be doing is putting your hand in and pulling all that off the actual filter unit itself. But what Black & Decker have included is if you press this down, it's a little swipe action to swipe off all of that dust and fluff and all of that attachment to the actual filter unit. Now I've not seen this on many units before and it's a really good addition. So when I've used this, I've really been impressed in the fact that when I've been moving this around and I get to the actual point of emptying the bin, I'm not having to worry about doing a full hand clean down of everything. It's just a quick cycle. It's an empty of the bin and hey presto, we're all done. So I'll show you that action now. All we do is we empty the bin, give it a little shake so it empties off there. Run the handle movement there and we've got a full clean bin. Obviously, every so often it is recommended to wash this out and dry it out. And again, the filter unit is exactly the same. Wash it underneath some water and this is going to last you a very long time. So again, it's all about simplicity. It's all about hygiene, but also as well, it's about ensuring you get the best clean possible. So let's pop this back together. And again, all we do is just clip it back on. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach a little part of this. So if I undo the top of the handle and it's just a simple button click, what I can do is I can attach this to the hose here. 
And again, all I'm doing is just popping them all together, a nice little click, and I've got my hand on. So I can use that just to simply pick these up without any problem whatsoever. Or what I can do is I can use the wonderful attachment here. Now this allows me to have an upholstery tool or a crevice tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the upholstery tool just to show you how that works. But then what I can also as well do is if I'm trying to maybe get them curtains or I'm trying to go underneath a sofa or behind something, I can extend this out just by pressing this little button on the back. And hey presto, it's two times the length. So again, I'm fully cordless and I can get all the way up and down wherever I need to be. So let's pop this back, let's take out this upholstery tool, because again, what we don't want to do is use this on that. And what we'll do is we'll get this all hoovered up now. So let's pop on the power button and let's go for max setting and let's get this hoovered up. And there we go, all done. So as you can see, the whole unit is so simplistic, but at the same time, super handy and really easy to use. So all in all, the Black & Decker Multi-Power Pro Cordless Vacuum Cleaner with a 60 minute runtime and a six hour charge from its 18 volt, 2.5 amp battery, really gives one of the best cleans I've seen from a cordless vacuum cleaner, but also as well, really gives you the ability to go all around your house and still have battery life left. It's super easy to use, it's really good at cleaning up, but also as well, it's really lightweight and it really does have all them little features that I really enjoy, like the wonderful way that you can move all of the lint and dust off the filter unit. It's super easy to clean out, but also as well, having the ability to use it in multiple fashions, but also having all the little extra tools with it as well, and the wonderful touch sensors on the front here, just gives me that customization that I'm really looking for in a cordless vacuum. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's been useful to you. If you've got any comments or questions, leave them in the comments section down below. If you've enjoyed the video, hit that like button, but also as well, if you want to stay tuned for more videos, hit that subscribe button with notification bell. Look forward to seeing you in another video.